but in different places. The others welcome in the new year, in parties, in pubs, and we have welcomed the new year in the Lord's sanctuary. Praise the name of the Lord. Acknowledging that it is God who has given us yet another year. Praise the name of the Lord. And thank God because of Psalms, Psalms 8, it says, How majestic is the Lord. The earth and the fullness thereof belongs to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And down there it says, What is man that you are mindful of him? You have made him a little lower than the angels. You know, God is very much mindful of us. Praise the name of the Lord. And so as we usher in or as we celebrate this new year, I want us to speak about how to be successful. Praise the name of the Lord. Because every time when a new year comes, there are so many resolutions that we make. Amen? I think I'm not the only one who has a long list of new chief. Praise the name of the Lord. Or am I the only one with the resolutions? Praise the name of the Lord. And at times we we expect the new year to come with like new things and a different just something very different from what we have experienced. Praise the name of the Lord. I was thinking about the way we welcome New Year. Like in Kenya, somebody made that comment and say that in Kenya people are just so excited, they really celebrate. Whatever we've done here is we shall compared to what happens in Kenya. Praise the name of the Lord. And so somebody was making a joke and saying, with all the troubles that are in the nation, Kenyans have nothing else but to celebrate that at least we have seen another year. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. With the Al Shabaab, you know what the things that are happening in our nation. Praise the name of the Lord. And also the 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 the, the, the political stuff. So Somebody was trying to say that Kenyans have a bigger joy or a greater joy when coming in here in as much as it's to say, wow, we made it. It's like they were not expecting they can make it. Praise the name of the Lord. And as I was thinking about welcoming New Year, I was thinking of, about the way we come to Jesus. There were times when we used to preach, come to Jesus. When you come to Jesus, all your troubles will be will be over. Praise the name of the Lord. And I was thinking, maybe at times we will come the new year with that mentality. Praise the name of the Lord. That everything is going to be smooth. There will be no trouble. The pain you went through in 2014, you're not going to see it. Like there's, there's nothing else apart from celebration. But I have come to speak to you today because new year is going to have nights and it's going to have days. Praise the name of the Lord. And the God who made the creation, he started by creating light. If you read the book of Genesis, the Bible says, and it was night, and it was day, and it was called the first day. Night was always preceding day. And it was never called a day before night. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, nights are the times of darkness, there are times when you, you just don't know what might happen. Praise the name of the Lord. I've come to reassure you that the new year is going to have its nights. And it's going to have its days. Praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms 90, that a thousand years is equivalent to one day before the presence of the Lord. And a thousand years is equivalent to a watch in the night. You know what? A watch consists of some hours of the night. So you can get the ratio of the of the watch. Maybe like a watch has four hours. Is it four hours or three hours? Four hours and a day has 12 hours. Praise the name of the Lord. Now the Lord says that this four hours, this watch of the night and this 12 hours is equivalent to 1,000 years. Praise the name of the Lord. Where am I Going, I want to say that nights can be longer than days. Hallelujah. Nights can be longer than days. But what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to be afraid that the, the 2015 is going to have nights? What are we supposed to do? There is nothing as important as being prepared for what is ahead. Praise the name of the Lord. 
An army that is prepared is more victorious than an army that is not prepared. Whatever can come your way, if you are prepared, you are able to handle it more, I mean, more well or better than when you are not prepared. So I don't want this 2015 to get it by surprise when the nights come. Amen. I want to share the word of God from the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 1. I'm going to read a few verses. But listen to me. The Bible says that God spoke to Joshua and he told him, you know what, my servant Moses is dead. No, you're the one to take charge. You're going to lead the children of Israel to go and take their possession. It was a great responsibility. It was something that was so great for Joshua. Praise the name of the Lord. It was something new. He had not experienced it before. He was so much used to doing what Moses says do. Because he was a servant of Moses. He was so much used to taking orders. He had never given out orders. It was a new thing to him. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to tell you that 2015 is not a year that you have ever seen. It is totally new. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we need to be prepared. How are we going to handle this year? Because for God to give us yet another year, for God to keep you alive, means that you still have something. You still have a purpose to accomplish. If your purpose was done, you could not have gone with us to the new year. But you still have a purpose under the sun to accomplish. That is why God has given you this opportunity to see the new year. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want us to look at the advice that God spoke to Joshua. What did God tell him about this responsibility? It was a great thing. He had seen the way Moses was getting angry with his people. Praise the name of the Lord. He had seen the rebellion of these people. He had seen even when he had been sent by Moses to go and spy the land. And when he came back with a good report together with Caleb, he had seen the rebellion of the children of Israel. And here is God telling him, you are the one to lead these people. It was tough. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want us to treasure this word from the book of Joshua chapter 1. We're going to read from verse 6. Somebody read for us Joshua chapter 1, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Somebody was is there can read for us Joshua chapter 1, verse 6, 7, 8. You can read up to 8. of the Lord to Joshua. God understood the responsibility upon Joshua was great and he could not make it on his own. And God decided it is time I encourage Joshua. Praise the name of the Lord. 2015 is a new year that we've not seen. But I believe it is a year that you're going to go to a greater height, to another level that you have not been before. Praise the name of the Lord. It doesn't matter whether if it's academically, if you are in grade that you call them grades here. Yeah. If you are in grade seven, this year you're gonna go to another grade. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it is the desire of the Lord that we grow. Amen. 
from one level to the other. Even as a, as a human being, if you give birth to a child, and that child by the end of one year, she's not even sitting down, she's not even crawling, it makes you sad. Praise the name of the Lord. After three years, the child has not even walked. What does it make you feel? It makes you feel sad. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord desires us to grow. The Lord desires us to move from one level to another. And that is why he gives us opportunities. Like he has given us this year. It is an opportunity for you to grow. It is an opportunity for you to get to the next level. Come on, tell your neighbor, I will get to the next level. And the Lord spoke to Joshua and he told me, told him, be strong and of good courage. Help me preach. Amen. 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 Come on, tell your neighbor, be strong and of good courage. Be strong and of good courage. Now, growth or moving ahead is not for cowards. It's not for the fearful people. It's not for people who see that it is night and they feel like they cannot move on. Moving forward and growth is not for quitters who just find it is rough and they cannot move it, move along. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why the Lord is telling Joshua, be strong and be of good courage. How do you know that somebody is courageous? We cannot know that you are courageous by sitting down. When you are just seated and everything is okay, we might not know of your courage. But when things get tough, and you press on and move on, then people start saying, and you're very courageous. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord expects us that even in